church during the pandemic. And so uh, a few of them, I think, is maybe a time for a bit of catechism, a little bit of teaching and learning. And so in particular, the, uh, the, a few commandments have come up because of the situation we find ourselves in. I will read the commandment that I'll be working with today. The third commandment, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. What does this mean? We should fear and love God so that we do not despise preaching and his word, but hold it sacred and gladly hear and learn it. Has the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod, decided to throw out the third commandment? Has Synodical President Harrison decided to sanction 80, 90, 95% of his congregations to break openly the third commandment? Have both seminaries and all their education and wisdom decided to give cover to the pastors? Have I decided that it is easier to do church without you present and therefore I have found a way to make my life easier and I have bamboozled the, our district president who is our assistant pastor? Has this happened? Are we now in public and open to uh, the violence of the third commandment? I hope by now you would see that the answer is definitely no. You are not in violation of it, and neither is this church. It's a misunderstanding that's going on here to be charitable. But before I go any farther, I'd like to read from the Word of God, Luke chapter 13, verse 10 and follow. On the Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues, and a woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not straighten up at all. When Jesus saw her, he called to her, called her forward and said to her, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Then he put his hand on her, and immediately she straightened up and praised God. Indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, the synagogue ruler said to the people, There are six days of the, uh, for work, so come and be healed on those days, not on the Sabbath. And the Lord said to him, You hypocrite, don't each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox and donkey from the stall? and lead it out to give it water? Then should not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has kept bound for 18 long years, be set free on the Sabbath day from what bound her? When he had said this, all his opponents were humiliated, and the people were delighted with all the wonderful things he was doing. It is a legalistic view of the Word of God, and in particular the Third Commandment, or quite frankly, worship. That somehow if you worship at your home, through that lens, that you are somehow breaking the Third Commandment. You see, the desire to be here is good and Christian. But the desire to sit and to listen is also good and right. And you all have been. I've seen the reports People are watching our services. You are. You are fulfilling the third commandment. Watching it. Enjoying it. Delighting even in the words. It is those who look at the church and say, I know it's there, but not for me. Not right now. I'm too busy. But that's not what's going on right now. Our government has asked us, for the health of our community, to find unique ways, at least, to worship. And that's what we are doing. This season will end. Our pews will be feel full once again. But you are not in any way, shape, or form in violation of the third commandment. We, we see worship in the light of what Christ has done for us. Set us free to come and with joy in our hearts as new men and women in Christ to hear and to read.
receive. And as long as you rejoice in the word, you are fine. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for worship. The time to hear your word, to hear about forgiveness and life and salvation. We pray that the season will come to an end soon, the pandemic will pass, and that we will come together once again to worship face to face, shoulder to shoulder. But bless our members as we worship uh, online, through the electronics and the gifts that you've given us to do. Bless our people and keep them safe and healthy during this time. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.